Hey friends, welcome back to Norris Cove or welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. Hello, hello, hello to all of my new subscribers. I'm so happy to have y'all here. You guys, I'm definitely trying to get to 1,000 subs. So if you enjoyed today's video, it's your first time watching, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so that you'll get um, reminded when I upload content. So I'm gonna hop right on in. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to definitely get to 1,000 so that I can get monetized, so I can pay off this debt and make me another stream of income. So you guys, today I'm doing something a little different. Um, I've done like my weekly check-in. Let me show you what that looks like. I'm gonna still kind of do it in my A6, which I carry every day. So this was last week. These are all the things I paid you guys. I actually ended up paying more. So I was like over about 400 and something dollars in bill, bills, including like little afterpays and Klarna. And I kept saying I was gonna do afterpay um, for the month of August, but I did. So I made a little mental note of what needs to be paid this coming week. So this weekly check-in for me, I'm going to take that out. This is what I use the weekly check-in for. I use it to write down my bills for the week. I basically pay bills every week or um, this is just how I manage my money at the moment, okay? So I decided, you know, some people don't, they're not self-employed like me. They get paid, you know, a paycheck to paycheck. And I never really wanted to do the paycheck to paycheck because I'm not, I don't receive a paycheck. But I decided to do like a new weekly check-in, this page here, and this is what it looks like. So it's like paycheck to paycheck, but I wanted to make it kind of universal so that it's paycheck number or week number. Like for me, it'll be the week, not the paycheck. So as you can see for this one, this was last week and I'll just use this to kind of see if it would work, if there was something I needed to change. And I kind of did, which was down here in the note section. I didn't like the grid. I changed the grid out. I kind of felt like I really didn't think on a week to week basis I would need all of this space, but I did. So the good thing about it is you can use the note section if you need to, to um, add more bills but I switched it up, I redid it. I'm just gonna keep these for me. And this is what it looks like now. I'll have this in my shop uh, for new releases for next week. So this is what it'll say, paycheck, weekly check-in, paycheck, and it'll come in pretty much all the sizes. I'm definitely doing letter. Um, I wasn't doing letter before because I just didn't think anyone used letter, but in the budget community, some people just use a budget binder, like a regular letter size. So letter size would definitely be available. Um, you have the income, and I like to leave at least four slots for income because sometimes you can have more than one stream of income. We have debt, we have bills due, sinking funds, here's your note section, and then your cash envelopes. So I decided to do that after I kind of dwelled on into, delve, whatever the word is, <laughs> dug into more budgeting and what would work for me um that's how i came across this oh and we also have the new monthly one but i gotta make some changes that's the one that we did our monthly budget with is this one right here so that'll be coming as well but i gotta do some updating to that and then now i'm thinking for 2022 our monthly budget will be monthly, ex well, probably monthly expenses. I don't know. And we'll probably go with the monthly breakdown. So let's, let me show you guys how we're going to use this. So I've done last week and then I kind of did a little prep here, made some notes and things like that. So let's get started. So I'm going to have this over to the side. I'm gonna have my little weekly check-in over here. And again, this works for me um, to list all my bills so that when I open up my everyday planner, I see what is due, I mark it off. But you guys will see my little budgeting tips in um, the video that is coming tomorrow. So this will be week number two. Um, so paycheck number two for someone. And then um, August 9th, 
through the 15th. Okay, income, I'm gonna put here, and that's 700. Uh, Shopify, you guys, we did really good on Shopify. I gotta really adjust Shopify from last week. But um, I don't know what it's going to be this week. I have 200 written down. Um, I got to get that up as well. So I'm just going to do 200. I'm going to stay on the safe side. And then miscellaneous. Um, I was putting four, but I'm going to put nine because let me tell you. You know what? Yeah. I'm going to put nine. Um, I've gotten a loan like for my business, so I'm going to, um, I'm not going to use that. I actually just probably shouldn't put that down. That's not really part of income. Hold on. Let me delete that. Let me leave this at 400. Leave it at four. Okay. And we should have the total at $1,300 for the week. Okay, um, I'm gonna start with bills due over here. So on the 10th, we have T-Mobile. That is tomorrow, they're getting 100. I'm gonna make an envelope for T-Mobile because I'm sick of them. They're, they're very good though. Let me say, they work with me, but I'm just, I feel like I just owe them, owe them, owe them. My daughter got a new phone. I can pay my my phone is pretty much paid off but my daughter has a new phone and the late fees is what's killing me they're adding up so i may go in um and tackle those so next up would be car note and that's 181.60 and then on the 15th put that the way we have capital one now, the minimum is 25. I'm going to try to give them 50, but um, it may be 25. Um, I'm going to close out my budget this time for the month of August, and I'll let you guys know what I did. Um, on the 15th, my P.O. box is due, and it'll be $71. And what I may do is take from that loan to pay the P.O. box and maybe pay it up for some months. Um and then my booth rent is due. I never like to forget that because that is definitely a bill, 200. Okay, now I'm gonna go to my little note section and see if it's anything that I forgot. Afterpay, I do have an afterpay coming and that was actually due today that they got their money today. So I can close that out. And it was eighteen dollars and thirty-two cent. I'm gonna tell you, after pay is going to get me. So I don't have any client, just after pay. And my anniversary, I'll put that down here because I have to maybe get my husband something. We don't trip <laughs> for real. We've been married. This will be year fifteen. We do cards, call it a day, give each other a kiss, me, if that, and. Um, that's it. We don't do anything special. Okay. I'm not paying anything to debt because, again, I know y'all say, if this girl say Vegas one more time, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> but I'm just really trying to make sure I'm not out in those Vegas streets looking crazy, y'all. I think my very first experience in Vegas and going with a small amount of money just made me decide I would never do that again because I was literally walking around the casinos looking for a penny on the floor like a crackhead. Like, I need to at least get a penny so I can put it in the penny machine and hopefully strike it rich. So, no, can't do that. Now, anyway, over here I have my cash envelopes, what I need to give to. So, I'm going to go ahead and write these in. My sinking funds, I got the 2K challenge. Now, I have that I want to give $300. I don't know how that's going to work. So I'm going to put uh, 120 towards that. I'm going to see. Matter of fact, I need to fill that envelope. And then the one and five challenge, I have 20. I'm hoping I can do that. 
and then um, that's $140. And then gas gets 20. It really needs to probably get 40. Eating out will get 40. And I may not even need 40 um, going into the next week because um, it'll be a short week because I'm gonna be eating out probably for days, okay? Um, Self-care, because we leave on that Thursday. So that's pretty much when I start to do the most. Uh, $20. Now, I'm definitely going to give the $20 for the self-care, because I have $25 in the envelope, and I'm trying to get my pedicure done. And then products. I have products for $20. I'm hoping I don't need anything, but this is what it may get and it just may roll over to the following week and then i have miscellaneous at 80. okay and i'm thinking i've already taken some from that already that's this week okay let me get my calculator 20 40 20 20 that's a hundred dollars no where'd you get a hundred dollars from It's $180. So now this is what we're gonna do. Now I have 1300 over here, so we're gonna add up these two first. That's 320. Oh, I never added up these bills. Hold on. Now I gotta start over, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm gonna add up the bills over here. I never did add them up. Now, six. 2092. So I just thought about something. I'm not for sure. And I'm trying to decide if I want to leave this last line empty in case you need it, and then you can write the total here or something. But that's 620. Um, I just thought about something. So um, I had a sale last week, not a sale new products, new releases in my um, Shopify. And so I said, oh, this is what I made this week. But in actuality, I was able to get some of that money, but the, the rest of it is coming this week. So that 200 is just about right. So um, anyway, I just wanted to make that note. So that's probably on point with what, I'm gonna definitely get that from Shopify. Um, the 700 is a little iffy on the hair. So we'll see. But as you can see, that 620, if I did make 700 from hair, it'll definitely cover my hair and my miscellaneous. That's pretty much how it normally goes. So let's, oh, I wanna light erase that. Let's start here, 180 plus 140 plus 620, 92, $940.92. So I like to, Take a little shoot. Nine forty ninety two. Okay, and we're gonna subtract from thirteen hundred, and that leaves me three fifty nine oh eight. So I should be able to do a little bit of more sinking funds with this or put it into a savings um, this week. Okay, so now I'm going to pop this in. So 
because you know what? I was so confused. I don't know why when I was doing my little rough draft, I was just all over the place. I was like, what? This not adding up. So I'm gonna put this in. I promise I'm going to y'all still haven't updated this plan. It just I know where to go <laughs> when I need it. So um, I'm just gonna pop this here in the back of August. Let me put it in the front. I like it to be in the front. And then um, I'm gonna check to see what I need to mark off for the month in my weekly check-in. Um, and I actually do not, oh, that's tomorrow, yeah. That's when, okay, Shopify. Oh, that was last week. Okay, let me do a little highlighting. So I did get paid something last week. Um, paid T-Mobile, I think the Apple came. Shopify got their money like on the 7th. They wasn't supposed to. And that was like 80, was either 76 or $87. I'm just put 87, 76. I like to make a note even if it comes like a day ahead, I like to put that note because sometimes Shopify be tripping y'all. So I like to do that. So that way when I make my future budget, I'll know that this came early. So maybe move my date a little bit and that way I can move it in the next calendar. Okay. So we're on this week right here. Um, my Apple Pay, not Apple Pay. Um, Afterpay already came out. And so this is what we have. So I got a month to know here to get a card. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to this little cutie right here. I'm gonna highlight her. And I'm just gonna set that there. And you can get these ASAP um, sticky notes out of my shop. August 9th through the 15th. It may seem like a whole lot to somebody else, but this, I have to write it down in more places than one because if I don't, it, it, it'll go unnoticed. I have to see it. T-Mobile that comes out tomorrow. Um, the ninth that was today after pay and that was $18 and 32 cent I like to put a check um, 10th 11th car note so like today um, give an example already today I made $320 so I know that I can pay my car note out of that. I still got my booth rent, you know, I still got that stuff. But what I did was I let it sit in the bank. I've been using that to like, not if like, I didn't get gas, but if I need it, like I ate out today. So I use that, I use that card so I can keep track of it until I can start getting a little better at my cash envelopes. So car note is 181. I hope that makes sense to somebody, like how I'm doing it. Um, for the moment. And then it has on the 15th um, the P.O. box. And that's $71. So I'm going to pay that. I'm going to wait to the last minute to pay that. <laughs> Hopefully I have something extra. Uh, Capital One, that's due on the 15th. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to give them anything extra. Um, the interest is kind of high on that one too. Um, I have 25, um, I'll just put 25, but if I decide upon 50, I'll make a notation here. That's what this is for. Um, so now I can throw this away. Um, notes. So it's just a different version of a paycheck to paycheck. Here, I just don't list income, but I plan to have an income. I just list what's due. I have to make a mental note to myself to get a card um, and then I'll add this up. Um, my goals for the week, and I like to write down like my financial goals is to, this week it'll be to give Capital One Extra. Y'all, I'm 
I'm going all out trying to make some extra money. Now, next week we have Barclays. Oh God, I'm not even ready. So I'm gonna try to give Barclays some extra. So, I already did this. I really could just look this up, but. Three ninety five ninety two. Why did I have six hundred and some dollars? Hold on. Three ninety five ninety two. Okay, so oh booth rent, that's why. Booth rent, I think that's the fifteenth. I kept going ahead like six hundred dollars that I had to come up with. So that's really Five ninety five ninety two. It's not matching. Lord, oh, make it make sense here. Hold on. I had six twenty. After pay, T Mobile. Car note. So I'm just double checking y'all. Car note. Oh, take off the $25 because I put $50 for Capital One. Okay. And I got P.O. Box down. Okay, that's where the discrepancy was. So if I would take $5.95 and add the $20 to it, it would be $6.20. Okay. I was like, wait a minute, something not calculating right. So now this goes back in here. Go to finances. And y'all, you know what? When I wrote down my debt, I put it on this little sheet, everything that I owe. So now what I do is when I come to this section of finances, I want to spend something, that debt just looks at me <laughs> like, girl, don't you buy nothing else that you don't need. I remember when I first got this Afterpay tracker, I was like, oh, I don't like owing people. I'll probably never fill this up. I think I'm on my second one. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, so that's that. We've done our weekly check-in or paycheck to paycheck, as some of you like to call it. And that is it, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did and you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor. And this is your first time here. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.